Hello, this is Mark Cashman, Senior Product Manager at Microsoft, focused on Microsoft Lists and all that we do with SharePoint powering content services throughout Microsoft 365. And just want to take a few minutes to share with you some of the value of what you can build into Microsoft Lists when it comes to a visual component, formatting rows and columns, especially when it comes to building in conditional rules so that the information speaks to you at a glance, visually. So we have a pretty basic list here tracking a number of different devices and I have almost no formatting, just the basics of what you get when you add text, pretty much text in columns and rows. But I want to start to show you some things starting with adding the new choice pill look and feel for choice columns and I'll do that ac across a couple of these. If you go into column settings, format this column for this status, I'm going to choose use choice pills and you'll see it starts to build out and choose the colors for me. I can go in and edit those styles. I already had a number of choices in there, in repair, in use, reserved, and retired. And if I wanted to at any time, I could change what those colors are. But it does a really nice job. If you have choices in a choice field, it'll assign colors by default, of which you can go and, of course, choose and change. Click Save, and you'll start to see that now we have status with meaningful colors. I'm going to do that also for a manufacturer. Same thing, format this column, choose choice pills, click save, off we go. And for the last one, for the asset type, same thing. Format this column, choice pills, and there we go. So within just a few clicks, leveraging the choices that you already put in there, and of course I could add more choices if I have different status that I wanted to track. If we all of a sudden get devices from a new or additional manufacturer, I can add them in as a choice, assign them a color, and then I would have that anytime I wanted to update one of these items to choose a different manufacturer, to choose a different asset type, whatever that might be. And if over time I wanted to change these colors, I could do that in that same way and it would reflect to all of the choices that I've made across all items. So choices are easy to add and having them match to the new pill uh, formatting, the new pill style, just makes it a lot easier at a glance and it just makes it nicer to see. So let's start looking at formatting a particular column and this is where I wanted to start uh, just on adding a format to a price, no conditions. So if I go into price and I want to format this column, I'll go in and I'll choose conditional formatting just as a way for me to start to to uh, design that. I'll pull this over so you can see what we're working with here. By default it shows just a simple adjustment with a new background image, a new background uh, color, but same as you saw before I could do either a quick change and just make it a purple background or go into more styles and choose how I want this to look. So because this is uh, money we'll go in and maybe we'll change it to green on the back end. We'll make this, since it's an important item, that I want to see a little bit more clearly. I can change it uh, to be larger text. I can bold it. Um, I can change the fill color, change the text color. Let's do that so that it stands out a little bit more. Let's make it red just purely for this. And then if you want, you can change the icon color by first choosing an icon, and maybe we'll choose it uh, as something trending up. And we'll keep the uh, use teal just because everything reflects and is stored in SharePoint. So we'll have a little SharePoint teal hint in there. So with that, I've gone in to change the style of a particular column, but with no conditions. I've really just set it as, this is how I want this part of the information in this data set to appear. So now we've got choice columns all set, and we've formatted one particular column, the price column. So the next thing I want to show you is if you go into any of these, uh, we'll start with maybe the model and choose to go into format this column. We've been doing it at the column level. Let me switch over so you can see if I format the view and this will affect the rows. So the first thing that I think is the most easy thing to assign is if you purely just wanted to make it easier to see one item from the other using the alternate uh, alternating row styles. If I check that you'll see now by default we get this kind of lighter gray white lighter gray white pattern. But you can also, same as before, uh, with columns. Now with rows, let's say I want to make this just a little bit uh, purple, since we're working with lists. And on the even rows, we'll keep it as a white background just to show that separation. 
But as you would expect, there are different ways where you can highlight this. You can underline so that there's that separation, top and bottom underline, which starts to give it a little bit more visual cue. And you can make the borders bigger, thicker, uh, and change that border style. So we'll maybe go with gray so it's a little less stark. So with that, uh, we've just gone in and done the alternating row formatting, which still maintains the formats that we chose for price and the choice colors still come through. So now I want to adjust this column model based on the status that I choose. So if I go in to format this column model, and in this particular column, I actually want to use a conditional format. By default, it wants to just add a if all thing. But I'm going to go delete this rule and really just add one particular rule. So if I go in and choose if the status is equal to retired, I want this to actually appear to be crossed out. So I'll go in and I will go into more styles. And we'll do this with a kind of a lighter background. I want this to be crossed out, bolded, and click save. Now it doesn't really look like anything changed until I actually go in and change, let's say, this Pro X. We're going to change the status from in repair to retired, and that Pro X should then change the formatting. So if I go into change to retired, you can now see that I get that new formatting both in the form and in the list itself, crosses it out, bolds it, and effectively makes it look a little bit more retired. Great. So that's pretty easy. If I added a particular uh, column formatting based on that one condition, but now based on that same condition, I actually want to enhance and adjust it based on all of the rows. So if I go in, and instead of using the alternating row styles, I'm actually going to go in and use based on certain conditions. I'll delete this rule. I'm going to add a very similar rule. If the column status is equal to retired, then I want to highlight the entire row and do some specific formatting. And since this is retired, I'll make it uh, a different background so it looks retired. And if I even wanted to go in and further refine this, I could maybe highlight uh, on the edges, on the sides, make it super bold, and we'll bold this color red as well. So now when something on this list changes and is retired, instead of having alternate rows, this list is really starting to speak to me. This particular item is retired. And we'll go in here and we'll choose and make this one retired so you can see what it looks like with two. So instead of in use, we'll do retired. And then there you go. The condition of retired changes everything in this row. It crosses out this column and updates the entire row formatting to be red. We'll add one more condition so that you can see you can have multiple conditions. Same format this column, conditional formatting, but this time for the entire row. I'm going to go into Manage Rules, and you can see the rule that we've already set. This time I want to add a rule that if the status is equal to available or uh, uh, reserved, then I want to change that to be orange. Maybe a little bit of a lighter orange. It's not so stark. And now back on my list, anything that meets that reserved shows up as orange. And then let's do one more so we can see something when something is in use. Format this column, manage rules. Oops, sorry. Format view, manage rules, and we'll add a third rule. If the status is equal to in use, we'll make this one green. And there you go. Your list has now come alive. A lot of what it is that you built into it with these conditional rules is speaking to you, telling you what's going on with each list item across the entire list. And in fact, if you go from rows and columns view into the default gallery, you'll see how this carries forward. You get all of the rich pill formatting with different choices, the different conditions that are being met are now appearing in the card format. And you can see that anything that's been retired has been crossed out. So it all comes through no matter how you're looking at your list, how you're visualizing your information, it comes through with the conditions that you've set.